What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Victor with Celebrated Victories, back with another video as always. Um, in this video, I'm going to talk about how much money you need to start an ATM business. All right, if you want to start your own ATM business, obviously you need some money. Okay, you can take out a loan if you want. Um, some people do. I'm not a big fan of that. I never did it, um, but it works for some people. Um, I like to have the money saved up, have the money up front. That way you don't owe anyone money and the profits that come in are going straight to you, go straight into your pocket. All right, so let's calculate how much money you need. So the first thing um, you're gonna have to do is get an entity, okay? Like I have an LLC and typically an LLC costs about $300, all right, to, to file for that. All right, so $300 to start that up. Unless, here's a cool tip for any veterans out there, and you have to check your state. Every state is different. In the state of Texas, if you have a DD-214, which is your retirement paperwork, for those that don't know, um, if you have that type of paperwork, then what you could do, you could submit that to the Secretary of State in Texas, and you don't have to pay that $300 fee. All right, that way it gets waived completely. All right, so that's $300 that you need to start your ATM business, okay? And then you have to purchase an ATM. All right, typically on average, they run anywhere between 2,000 for a good one, you know, up to 2,500, 3,000, just depends on what you get. Me, I usually pay about 2,300 for my ATM. So 2,300 plus the other 300, you're gonna need money to put into the ATM. In order to allow people to take money out, there has to be money inside of the ATM and you have to fill that, all right? If you're an independent ATM owner, you have to be able to fill your ATM. So you're gonna need money to put into the ATM. Usually it just depends on the traffic. All right, if you have, if you put $1,000 in there, it may deplete faster than if you put $2,000 in there. You know, if you have a, a place that doesn't do too much traffic, then $1,000 might last a pretty long time, but you're not gonna make much money off of that. It's not being used as frequent, okay? So usually, in my case, what I like to tell people, I like to say about $2,000 in each ATM is good. That way it gives you enough flexibility to not have to go back every single day or every other day or, you know what I mean, tattoo parlors or tattoo shops or places where they're, they're typically taking out uh, more cash. Um, I'm not a big fan of putting ATMs in those places unless, here's a quick tip, I'm actually providing the ATM and I'm actually having the tattoo parlor or whoever, I'll give them half of the profits, okay? And then they have to refill the ATM. So that's just a quick tip. Another thing is internet service. You're definitely gonna have to have a wireless internet service or whatever internet service that you're gonna utilize to have your ATM run. Usually $20 is what I pay for my internet service per ATM. Right, and then you have gas getting you around. You're gonna be putting money into gas. All right, if you wanna insure your ATMs, you have to insure your ATMs. Um, you know, that could run any anywhere between $500 and up, um, depending on how many ATMs you have. So those are just some things you wanna think about. So if I had to actually put a number on how much money it would cost to start up an ATM company, I would say maybe about $5,000, $6,000 for sure, which isn't a lot. You know, you save up for a year, you save up for a few months, you might be able to sell some stuff that you have laying around the house, trying to find different ways to get that money, okay? Know in the comments below, if you have any questions, be sure to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell as well, and I'll talk to you guys in another video later.